Hey everybody, I'm Greg. And I'm Katie. Welcome to the Meeple Society. Today we are going to plow. Re reveal our... Plow through. I feel like we have to plow through it. There is a lot of games There's sitting over here. a lot more here. there than I thought. Our shelf of shame. Or, or opportunity, opportunity. Or unplayed games. How about that? There you go. Our unplayed games. This includes games we've never played. Yep. Copies of games that we bought because we played it and wanted yeah. it, but we haven't played it, or expansions that we've gotten that we haven't we're played interesting yet. Interesting enough to get, <laughs> yes. and we haven't played it yet. So we're going to start off. We're basically a lot of these games we don't know a lot about. We just know we liked them and wanted to have them. Mm -hmm. So we're going to. It's they're going to be brief. So before we get started, like the video, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell icon. You know the drill by now. Yep. Click the link below. Follow us on all of our social, social media. But most importantly, comment and tell us what one we should play next. Which yes, expansion please. is a must-have? Which expansion should we just find the original box to and pitch right off the bat? I think it's no good. I think sadly, um, I counted forty-one games expansions copies. And there's even one we didn't put in here because I got to play it on New Year's Eve and you didn't. Yeah, and that was so Aquatica. So it's technically been Aquatica, played. Aquatica's and Aquatica. expansion, so yes. one so, of us has played it at least. Yes, so that's something. But it is still labeled because you have not gotten to play it yet. It. So, so we're going to start off with Verdant. And we're going to start off with a box that's on wrong. Oh my gosh. So, can you explain, because you, you're the one that actually picked this up. Did I? Yes. Where'd I get it? We got this used at a, uh, I think we got this at oh, the this uh, yard the sale at Salt Tears. Sale. Okay. I just, I've heard good things about it. It's um, planting. It's planting. It all seems to be based on house plants and stuff. Um, and it's got a cat on the box. She does. never even noticed it. It has a cat right there on the box. I noticed so it when I first saw the box. I don't know much about it. I know I've heard that it's a good game, mm -hmm. and it was like five or ten bucks. So how could you pass? Mm -hmm. that I think up? Mark and Jess talked about it on one of our podcasts I think they did. a long time ago. I think they did, and I've when heard, it first came out. So I've heard Jeff from Tabletop Toolbox talk about it before. Mm -hmm. So yeah, we got it. We'll play it sometime. Let I don't us know. know what you think. But you'll notice too on some of these. These have blue stickers on it. The blank ones means it's a copy we've not played or a game we've never played. We've never played it. Our copy, one yeah. has a black C is a copy, and one with an E is expansions. Yes. So we're just gonna. So we're next gonna run out one. Over here, so. This is Paladins. This has a blue one. We've never played a copy. I've always wanted to play it since it first came out. And we found this at the same yard sale. We didn't found, we? found this at the same yard sale. Both of these we got pretty easy. Pr pretty easy. Yeah, they were pretty, pretty easy. Pretty cheaply. Pretty cheaply or less this expensive. Has, I feel like this has never been played, but I don't know. I don't know. But but this is part of the West Kingdom. I like the West Kingdom series a lot. I'm liking the other, the newest one a lot more. Yeah, I am too. Because it has dice in it. But this was one I was always wanting, and for whatever we reason, always we just found never it. it, it up. Well, it was really cost a lot when it first came out. And every time we ever saw it, it was just there was something else we wanted more. Mm -hmm. And we got this for what twenty bucks? If that, I'd I have to so look. Like Fifteen, but... twenty bucks. So we picked it up yeah. and. Hopefully get it played. Someday. When Next. we get to the peas, we're almost to the peas. It'll this is a C, which means we've played the copy. We enjoy it. But we, we have played not played this our copy. At, we got a chance to play this at the Dice Tower Retreat last year and yep. really enjoyed it. Mm -hmm. um, it. It's all, it's reminded me a little bit about of habitats where mm -hmm. you're building, you're trying to build patterns um, and interconnect and your There's tiles. another game like that too, um, which I can't remember. It's I can't remember the name. I don't of the know. Game. Anyway, we really enjoyed it. We, we found game. it on sale, so. And I'm I've always been a big Uwe Rosenberg fan. This does not feel like one of his normal games, though. No, it did not. Oh, it remind it was. Um, Luna. Luna. Lunar. Loon. Loon. Something like that. We borrowed the game from Mark and Jess. Liked it. I don't remember. Anyway, really enjoyed this one at the Dice mm -hmm. Tower Retreat. Found it on sale. Picked it up ourselves. And there it sits, still in shrink. Mm -hmm. So yeah. the next one we, we got go. is an unplayed expansion. This is from the Chronicles of Crime series. This is noir. This is you are detectives in LA back in the 50s. Katie is not a big fan of Chronicles of Crime. I like it. 
for one reason why it hasn't gotten played yet. We do have the other one, which is Red Veil vale, or Red Dale or Red View. Red View. Red View. Which your teenagers. I do so. like that one. That this one, one I fun. think is really going to be cool, though, because you get to be. I think so too. We'll have to start talking like you're, you're from, you know. <laughs> we have back a lot in, of friends who really enjoy this, and we had a blast with those friends on with the Red the, View, the Red View yep. one. So maybe we can get them to join us on this one too, and it'll be a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. But anyway, so, Chronicles Noir. Of Chronicles Noir. We're gonna do another expansion. What the box it's on wrong? I, I, I have no words. We picked this up on the. This was an add-on for the Kickstarter weather machine. Was where we picked this up. Was it? Yes, yeah, it, I guess was. it was. I don't know. I don't know. I I would like to be able to get this into the base box, but I don't think they give you this nice. No, not the way the main box is. You and won't I, be able to fit those in. I don't want to get those. I don't want to. Yeah. I mean. You would have to get rid of yeah. those, and I don't want to get rid of those. Those are really nice. They are. Yeah. See. Yeah. I, okay. So yeah, this ex this, this expands a game that we really like. Yes, it expands on Mars. Um, really enjoy it. Our oldest son really enjoys it. It's going to be coming up in the O's very soon mm -hmm. in the playing through our collection videos. So hopefully we will break out. Oh, this has two E's. It's that important. It got two E's. Anyway, we really uh, like we, it. <laughs> we we really need to play this one. Yep. Um, but we'll make sure we play it. For the playing through our collection okay. with the expansion. So we can at least knock that off the list. Next we have this has a blue sticker as if we never played it. We actually have played this. We, we played, played this the at copies. the Dice Tower yes. Retreat. So this well, should have a C on it. It should instead. have a C on it. We we broke this out, we punched it, we laid it out, we were ready to play it, and then something, something came, came up, up and we had to we, we put didn't it up have time and to we play. never we had came to go back. Do something else. Yeah, we just haven't done it yet. Yeah, so this is nothing like Whistle Stop. No, it's but, you think it would be. It's yeah. not. But we really liked it enough that we bought it on the way home from the Dice Tower Retreat that year. This yeah. was a few years back. Yeah, it's been a few years. So eventually we'll get So played. it's been on the shelf for a while. Yeah. Okay, next, getting this pile down. I got some big piles over here. This one is also a copy. We played this one at the Dice oh, Tower yes. West. I'd look at what it was. Like from here, I couldn't see it. It says it right there. It does say it right there on the price tag. Yes. Oh, yeah. We found this at on our anniversary. Yes. We bought this one up at the that store up in Carmel. Oh yeah. Up by my office, right after we went to the the German festival. The I German think. Christmas festival. Thank you. I cannot pronounce the word. It actually the I'm not word. about to. Nope. So anyway, we bought the. We had they had a sale going. Buy one get one half off. And we found this and another one, which is buried. We'll get to it later, but I'll point it out when we get there. So we, we yeah, ended up getting... I don't remember which one that was. I don't remember which one was more expensive, but we got one of them for how Oh, off, I so remember. How yes, you... it's, yeah, it's buried. So how could you not? <laughs> it's way over there. <laughs> yeah. When you can get this at half price, I'm going to... I'll We'll give it another shot. But yeah, we played this. We seen it. We never got it played at Dice Tower West. We played this at the retreat with yes. Matt Dixon. Yes. Did, was anybody else playing with it? I can't remember. No, I think, I think it, was it was just, just me, you, us. and Matt, and we had somebody else teaching it because we, we were stumbling through the teach. Yeah. Another another gentleman came up and teach taught it really well. Yes. So, and it was enjoyable, but we were both kind of left going, I don't know what that was. Mm -hmm. So we wanted to give it another shot um, for sure. It was enjoyable enough that half price made it worth it. So yes. we picked it up, but yeah, and here it sits in shrink. Well, it's only been four months. Yeah, well, it's a long game, too. So. It is a long game, and the R's are coming up. Yes. There you go. <laughs> so there you go. All okay, right. Okay, so here's one that we've played, a co played it, but we haven't played our copy of it. And this is another one we picked up at the Salter's yes. Garage. Not the same garage sale, though, but... All different ones. Yeah, they have them constantly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we played this at a friend's house, um, Lisa D. in, in Virginia. Virginia. Um, uh, girl I went to high school with. We stopped out at her. We've made a kind of almost a habit of going to her place. We didn't do Virginia. it last year because we flew down. Yeah. Um, on our way to the retreat every year, mm -hmm. and we just have a game day with her and her friends, and it's a, a blast. So anyway, she broke this out one year because we'd always wanted to try it. We really enjoyed it. Found it at the yard sale for pennies on the dollar, essentially. So we picked it up. But mm -hmm. yeah, it's, I mean, I like this one. It's got these really cool little 3D roller coasters that you're building out your board with. So yeah, it's very interesting. I'm looking forward to trying it again. Mm -hmm. That is Steam Park. 
Okay, so now we got a couple little boxes I can get to here. All right. This is one we just picked up at a garage sale again. We did. Okay. This one we've seen a lot. And actually, we had one of these because at one of our Christmas Eve parties with her side of the family, we did a white elephant yes. thing where, where you took one of the gifts and held it. And then if somebody else wanted that gift, they could steal it, and you could steal yeah. it twice, and that would be it. And then you open We did it with board up. games, and it was fun. But yeah, we did it with the board games. But this is one that we've always been interested in. Yes. I know Bezier just did a Kickstarter that had all of them in yes. one box. But they I'm... have more coming, so I was like, we'll just collect them. Yeah, This I is our first so one. This is Amulet. So it's... And it's, we got it at the yard sale unopened. Yeah, so it's never so... been played. And we got yep. it for real, like five bucks. Five bucks, yeah. So super so. cheap. But yeah, that's silver. I'm anxious yep. to, again, S's are coming. I, I just keep saying, saying, by the time we get through the playing through our collection, the goal is Everything's we playing. will have no blue tags left in the room. It will be awesome. Except for Copies, games that we pick up afterwards. all that. Okay, all the gone. next little box is Undo. See if she can remember where we got this. This one came out of a box. There you go. Yeah, it came out of a box. There you go. At the at uh, Gen Con, mm -hmm. it was one of those blind blind bid boxes, yeah. blind draw boxes. This was Gen Con twenty twenty one, right? Yes. Yeah. Yep. We got a couple things out of there. This is the this is the only one left that hasn't been played. Mm -hmm. I've heard not great things about this series. Yeah. So I. But I'm, we figured we keep it, play it eventually, and yeah. just come up with our own thoughts on Again, it. Again, when we get to the use, it'll it'll get played. So it doesn't mm -hmm. take up a lot of space. It just sits on no. the shelf with all this size. So it's not a big deal. The Cherry Blossom Festival, at least that's something. Weaving Fate Anew. Yeah. I okay. All right. Next one is a game that you actually picked up at Goodwill. Goodwill. I don't know anything about this. It kind of looked like with the where the dogs yeah. were in the back. Kind of looks like the game Hike. And I think that's why I got it, is it looked like a little bit like Hike. So, but I don't know anything about it beyond that, other than it is card play. And everybody has their own color cards. Everybody has their own deck from the looks of it. So uh -huh. I don't know. Uh -huh. I, I don't know much about we'll see this what one. It is. I'm kind of curious about it. And again, I found it from mm -hmm. Goodwill for 99 cents. So I think I the price tag is gone already. So, but yeah, top dogs. All right. Next. Next is we have not played this copy. We did this play is this. Splendor. Yes. We played this at the retreat. Yes. Uh, a few years back. We like. We really like Splendor, and I we really like this this game. Yeah. Although I beat you at I it. I think you liked it. I'm... I think I liked it more than you did. You did. You did like it more than me. But it makes Splendor a two pl two player game. Yes. I mean, you could play Splendor two player, but this one changes this things one changes up because it up adds the rules a resource. A bit. Yeah, you get the and the, the and some reward tokens yeah, that you get to the, use at different times. Even, and yep, yeah, haven't the even opened it up. The pieces are teeny tiny. Yep. Everything's Which smaller. is cool. I mean, it's fine. The, the cards are teeny tiny. It's, yep. yeah. We'll so, see. It, 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 it kind of plays a little different than normal Splendor. Yeah, it does. Because you have a board where you're drafting off of. Yeah. So, yeah, it's very interesting. Yep. They, I, yeah. I'm, I, I want to dig into it some so more. So, S's are coming, too. <laughs> see, now okay, I this saying next it. one. You want to explain where you got this? Okay. So... At work, every once in a while, they give us this weird thing. We can order like $35 worth of snacks. And it's really weird snacks. It's not your typical stuff. So I was looking through there, and usually they'll have just some weird healthy brands of different things. And they had four different board games. I'm like, oh, what? This was one of them. This was the most intriguing of the four. I had not ever heard of any of them. So, of course, I looked them up. And I spent my money on this instead of a bunch of food. So, sure. Sherlock Holmes Baker, Baker Street, Street Irregulars. Irregulars. Yeah. This one looked really cool because we like I said can't it's a it. uh, it's, there it is. It's a Van Ryder game. Yep. Yeah, it's, it's a, a Van, Van Ryder game. game. But you've got it's a series of books. And Everybody each has player, their own book. Yeah, each player has their own book based on who you are. Myrtle, Hike, Mission Wiggins, log. and Vicky. So. I just, I think this is really intriguing. So the mission, mission log looks like a, cart, a, a comic yeah, book Yeah, and look, almost. the books are too. That's cool. So, yeah, I don't, I'm not sure how this is going to play out, but this should be interesting. I'm I'm looking forward to trying this one. Yeah, how many plays? Four? Um, four. Four it players. Plays one to, one to four. Mm-hmm. Yeah, put the mission log on top again. 
So yeah, so, so yeah. we'll have to get yep. two other players and play it. Yeah, I want to play this at a full player count for sure. Mm -hmm. When we get, again, when we get to the S's. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So this is a, a probably one of our most recent new games we yes. picked up that we that didn't we, even know. This is we picked it up fully intended to play it as soon as we got home, mm -hmm. and once again, other things came up. So this is Tokaido Duo. So yeah. Tokaido is now. A, just a two-player game. It looks I don't like it know. Goes in a circle. I yeah. I don't know a lot. You're playing on an island. I know that. Yeah. See. But I don't know a lot it about the game. But hey, it's Takedo. I really like Takedo. So. Yeah, we like Takedo. We don't. Doesn't come out very and often. And Takedo at a two-player is kind of. Eh. Okay, I'm gonna go here. Okay, you can go and get that one. So you can kind of calculate where you're gonna end up yeah. at. This one. Now you're at a two-player. Yeah. No, yeah, I'm so. looking forward to trying this one. It'll be good. So mm -hmm. anyway, Takedo Duo. All right. Next is we've played the original. <laughs> we have. We have played the original. We bought this one in a store in Dayton on one of the trips. Did we? Yeah. I remember picking this one up. Um, not Dayton. Cincinnati. Cincinnati? I must have been. I think it was Columbus? Cincinnati. Columbus? No, it's Cincinnati. Cleveland? Shush. We're going with the Ohio names. It's, it was Cincinnati. It was in Ohio someplace. So anyway, I remember the store. Uh, I remember talking to the to the store clerk. What was the name of the store? I don't remember the name of it, but I can I can picture. You the just store. know it was somewhere in Ohio. It was in Cincinnati. Oh my god. Okay, gosh. so this plays the same way, but what's really cool instead of buttons, it's got eyeballs. Yes. So I'm looking forward to this one, and maybe we'll hit the by the time we hit the peas, it'll be Halloween. Halloween time frame. So there you go. It'll be Halloween 2035. It'll be this Halloween. Actually, it will probably be before then. It'll be in the middle of summer. Whatever, yeah, it'll be middle of summer when we hit the peas. But anyway, patchwork coloring. So next we have you. So you've been eaten. This is a head-to-head -head kind of game, though. We yeah. don't really like though, but it's a two-player game. So of course, it's a two-player game. Makes it head-to-head. -head. It's a Skull Alms game, which he does in Kawachi Mori artwork. So, but yeah, we picked it, it up. It sounded at West. really cool. Yeah. I think we wanted to get a two-player game we could do a playthrough of mm -hmm. for the channel. And this just looked interesting. So we grabbed it. That was a year ago. Yes. And yes. here it sits, still in shrink. We'll get it played. It'll get it's there. an S. It's an S. It's coming. There's the label. But if Does we ever start happened? back up our two-player yes. video series. Which we're talking about. We'll get to it. It hasn't happened yet. All right. Okay, next one has expansions in it. Yes. This is Project L. This is one of Katie's ones that she really likes. I do. I really like this one. But yeah, this one has, what are the names of it? It has the Ghost Piece expansion and the Finesse expansion. So it has both of them. So it takes, see there's black pieces involved now. I got them all into this box somehow. I still am not quite sure. And there's coins now too, which I thought was interesting. I don't know. I don't know what they do. I guess we'll figure it out. Mm -hmm. But uh, but yeah, that is that one. Spend the bucks. There you go. Got to get it on right. Anyway. Okay, now to look yes. back up at the top of a sack. This one has been in our collection for quite a while. We yes. got this in uh, Gen Con one year in the uh, um, flea market. At I'm glad you remember because I don't yep. remember where we got it. But we played this at Gen Con. It was me, okay. you, I think Justin was there possibly. And I know Justin Kat, Kat was there. And we played about halfway through it. Yes. I really liked it. We've had this for, I know, for a while now. Yes. This has been at least five or six years. And we will get it played in uh, next month. a few, yeah, next month because we're taking it with us to Virginia to play with Jeff yep. from Tabletop Toolbox. Yep. yep. I think you'll like the theme. It's all about beer making and the Oktoberfest, so. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. It'll be fun. But yeah, that is mm -hmm. Oktoberfest. Next, let's see if you can remember where we got this one. Yes. Good Lord, look at all the dust on these. Because they've been sitting for a little bit. All right, bit. so this, this is was on one of our road trips. Two years old now? We found this for like two that. years. We picked it up. I want to say it was somewhere in Missouri. Was it no. St. Louis? No. I know it was on one of those road trips. Yes, it was in a road trip. But this I don't is, remember what store. This was in Albuquerque. Was it? Okay. Yes. I didn't remember what store it came from. But, yeah, it's... Uh, I want to say Albuquerque. I'm pretty sure it was Albuquerque. 
I, I might know. be wrong, but no, I don't think so. It was a little it's cafe because it okay. was either this or Boone Lake, and we decided to go with this. Uh, it was a little cafe, and one of the uh, one another board gaming podcasts. One of the guys that's goes there. That's not what I thought we bought yes. there. I thought we bought something else there, not this. No, we ended up with. It doesn't matter. Anyway, regardless, I know it was that same road trip. Mm -hmm. I thought it was somewhere in Missouri. I'll see if I wrote it down. But anyway, this is a cooperative one. This is one I was thinking might be fun mm -hmm. to play. We've been playing a lot of cooperatives mm -hmm. with um, friends we've known, again, for decades, mm -hmm. uh, Doug and Sarah, um, and because they really enjoy the cooperatives. And I thought this might be fun to break out with them when we get to the T's. We only we'll have see. two of them going right now. We do. <laughs> We've been playing Sleeping Gods and, and um, Massive, Darkness. Massive Darkness with them. So. But anyway, but we got a little while before we get to the cheese. Yeah, but so we, by then we should. I have don't know time. anything about this. I don't is, know anything this was a television this. series or I something. No I don't idea. remember what, it, or it's a book. Tale, okay, in the board game, Tales from the Loop, the board game is a cooperative experience where all players work together toward a common goal. It's got minis. I didn't even know it had little robot no. minis. There are six unique scenarios in the core box, with each featuring a specific property of the loop. There is also the Mystery Islands mode where you get to discover your own mysteries and adventures. Okay. This has I something on it that I don't... I understand why they did it, though, but I don't yeah, like it. They, they have painted minis on here, and then above it it says all paint, miniatures supplied or unpainted. Oh, well. No biggie. They show the pa minis painted, and then they're not say really they're not painted. painted. So. Yeah, that's kind of But as you can see, it's still in shrink ramp. Yeah. It's been in shrink ramp for about two years now. Yep. All right, that's that. Next we have... Zombie side Black Ops. Now this one I don't know where we got. I bought this off of Amazon. This is an expansion for an expansion for the um, Zombie Side Invaders. Invaders, which we've got from um, you a got local this off store. Of where? I bought Amazon? this on Amazon for okay. like twenty bucks. And we really liked cheap. Invaders a we lot because it did a lot of different stuff. That we so we got the expansion. Up. And we have yet to play the expansion. Mm -hmm. We've only played Invaders once. Yeah, and we played that at our ca uh, cabin con a few years yeah. back. Yeah. Right after the pandemic. Yep. So, and it was interesting. It was I liked what it did in mm -hmm. relation to the other zombie yeah. sides. So, I was say, where's it the sticker? It is an expansion. Right there. Yeah. Yep. So, yeah, that's that one. So, probably one of the expansions in this stack of games that's been here for quite a while. The longest. And unplained. Huh? The longest. Yep. In fact, this was one of the very first Kickstarters we ever did on my account. Yes. Was Zombie Side Black Plague. Black Plague. And this is the and expansion it came for it. And with this. We've played Black Plague a couple times. I think we've, well, it's out of shrink, so we've opened the box to see. It's so old. Here you go. It still says cool mini or not. Yeah, that's true. I do like the. This has wolves. Yeah, see, all this is still in shrink. Yep. Yeah. We have never... New players. There's nothing. That, what a waste more of space. More trays. Look at that. Yeah, more trays. Oh, this box could have been half this size. Mm-hmm. Because underneath the trays... Is another box. No, it's and just an empty box. box. Yep. And this is... I'm very disappointed. But it is old. One. It's old and it's all about the shelf space and the, the presentation on the shelves. So yeah, more boards. So yeah. Anyway, eventually we'll get the original scenarios played and we'll play the scenarios on this one mm -hmm. at some point someday. But it'll get there. Wolfsburg. All right. Okay. I'm very disappointed now. Next one. This is Whirling Witchcraft. This is another one that we played on the way down to the retreat one year. We played yep. it at Lisa's. In they Virginia. never played it, and we played it with uh, Fred. Fred. I think Fred brought it over. Fred brought it over. We played it. I really liked it. I you was You were okay, okay with, with it. it. But we found it on sale. Yeah. Unopened. I think ten it was bucks. another like ten the bucks. Still is on it? It. Oh yeah, look at that. Ten dollars we paid for this. I think it it it's retails for like twenty five, yeah. thirty bucks, something, something like that. that. So for but, ten bucks, okay, fine. So this is this is one of the ones we haven't played this copy. We have played the game. Yeah. Yep. And no, I like it. She's okay with it. I'm okay with it. 
Okay, next one, you can explain this one. <laughs> I did the Kickstarter. You were the one that I put the box lid up like the wrong. I wanted the Colossal version. I don't know why. It just intrigued me. So I got the Colossal version. And we have yet, we've played the base version of this when we did the Seas. <sighs> but right. this one has its this. own. Oh, this has its own scoreboard. I didn't realize that. That's just like the other one. It's yeah, I know, but I didn't realize it, it Everything's added. bigger. Okay, so look at the size of these tiles. This I is why really I have not dug into this box. Look at the size of these tiles. They're huge. Oh, these huge. are player boards, aren't yeah. they? Yeah. No, no, that's... No, that's where you put the tiles out for the gameplay. Well, there's another one there. Based on oh, that's gameplay, the gameplay, you put out so many of them based on the number of players. Oh, okay. That's the same as that one. Yeah. And all the so, tiles are so held inside of it. So basically, yes. Okay. Um, so they use good use of their spaces. Space. So mm -hmm. anyway, I'm looking forward to playing this copy. We're going to have to do it I think the only thing, on the table out there. The only thing it's wrong with this is, though, if here. it has the spaces for the castles, but are the castles the same know. size? I don't know. We'll have to look. There's no other castles in here, so. Oh, yeah, I don't know. So it's just the bigger tiles. We're going to have to play this one out on the other table because it's going to be bigger. too big otherwise. But. So that's Colossal Edition of Castles of Magic and Yep. This one we also right played now. at the Dice Tower Retreat. You seeing a the theme here? And yeah. we liked it enough that we went and bought it. <laughs> yep. This one we played with uh, Jeff Knapp. Yes. From Tabletop Toolbox. And it is, we picked it up on the way home even. Yeah. And it's still sitting on a shelf. And still we, we, this was 2022. Yes. Year before we bought last. It. it is now 2024. So I it's know been he sitting bought there for a copy years. too. And he's already played his because he's already talked about it and done a review on it. But. Well, you know. We're behind oh, times. We are very behind our schedule, yeah. Again, the teas are coming. Next is Endangered. We've played the copy. Yes. There's just expansions in here that we yes. have not played. This is a game that I'd, always, I'd heard about, always wanted to play it, so we played it at the Dice Tower yeah. Retreat. It has a seal of approval by yep. the Dice Tower as well. And the, 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 the expansion booklet the, oh, the expansion booklet is booklet's behind right there. here. So, all right, so we played the copy of the base the game. Base we game. found the base game. Both animals. On the way home, we happened to find, in a different store altogether, a copy of, what, it was a new species. So it was just a, a whole other box this size of new species. And it literally came with what? Now we have almost all the expansions We now, have right? almost all of them, yes. Because I even ordered one of them, a couple of the mini box expansions. Yeah. But I everything's in the Amazon. box. Yeah. I managed to squeeze... Everything in here somehow. My organization. Yeah. Although That's this, right. the, the pandas don't all fit in here because the the only they box don't fit in the box. They don't fit in the box with the cards, so they have a couple sitting outside. So we the have box. the the turtles, the sea turtles, yep. the polar bears, uh, the California condor, yep. the elephant. Do we yep. have the elephants? Okay. Yes. Oh yeah, they're all in there. The devil hole puff. Yeah, here's puff the elephants fish. right here. Yep. The jaguar and how do you call, yep. pronounce that? The Tipeers. Tipeers. Yep, that's right here. Ow. Sea otters. There's the sea the otters turtles. and the tigers came with the, the, the sea, sea otters. The owls. pandas were their own separate yeah. thing. Sea otters and the tigers came, came with, the base, with the base game. And there's the, the, there's condors. the condors. There's the, the sea one? turtles. Oh, that's, that's the, the, uh, the, the jaguars, jaguars and, and the, the uh, tipeers. Yeah, it's like three different kinds of animals mm -hmm. in there. So yeah, I mean, it's just, it's a really interesting game about saving endangered saving species. Saving the endangered species, yep. So, it, and we've really enjoyed it. Yep. So We, we don't got, win it very often, but we, we enjoy it. We've got all the expansions it. for it now. So, yeah, matter of fact, there's all of them we have. And so far, we have played the giant pandas, the sea otters, and the tigers. So we, we got still a few have more. a one, two, three, four, five. We well, still to be fair, though, we play. just got those not that long ago. It's been over a year. No, it hasn't. Yes, it has. Because it was on one of the drives home from the retreat. And we didn't drive last year. So it's been a year and a half. Yeah. Um, yeah. It has know. been. I nope. thought you ordered it. Nope, I did not. Okay. I found it at the retreat. Oh, Next, the we have the Grand Carnival. Now, we played the original version of Grand Carnival. This is the newest Kickstarter one that yes. came out with a lot new art. So, in other words, it came out with a lot new art. A lot new art. 
Anyway, so this has an E on it. So it's the expansion that we have not played, which is sounds really cool. We just we really like this game, but yes. we just haven't been able to get it, time to get it to the table yet. No. The expansion comes in with six a uh, 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 level six, uh, level six uh, tiles, um, tiles, which are called the uh, 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 what is those things called? Carnival tiles. Yeah. Well, oh, it's, this lid does not yeah. keep everything in place. Anyway, but it has it adds a lot more. It adds it where it's a traveling circus or a traveling carnival now, and like I said, better artwork, newer the, pieces, heavier pieces, upgraded. Yeah. They upgraded some of the uh, player pieces because they were having trouble with them breaking. Yeah. This cover does but not quite keep them all in is, place the way it so should. So the, the the expansion is called on top on the road, which it, basically it takes it and puts it out on the road. Yeah. So you have different city cards you're going to play with and going to give you different things. Yep. So I really want to get this to the table. We yes. just haven't had a chance to get it to the table nope. yet. Which and is I can't even me nuts. say the G's are coming because no, they're gone. No, it's already gone. So, but we'll get it. We'll get it there. Okay. But yeah, it's a good one. Next expansion, we have had for a very oh long gosh. time as well. We bought this with the actual game and just have not gotten it to the table because usually every time we play this, we're relearning it because mm -hmm. it takes so long for us to get back to the table, or we're playing with somebody else. Yes. But this basically adds another uh, alley you can go down. Yeah, it's called Dark Alleys. Yep. And adds more pets. I don't think I have different stuff. Yeah, no, it's still in here. We haven't. And it wasn't able to fit in the it. box. Is why we haven't combined well, it. Well, no, I think we haven't combined it because New contest. we haven't played it yet. Oh, look, you have canned food now. Yeah, that's kind of cool. Yeah, and you get more little. Uh, what are these called? Sprites or or I can't remember uh, goblins or I don't remember imps. imps, imps. That's what they are. We'll get so, there. And again, I can't even say we'll get to it when we get to the D's because... Because that's gone, too. Yeah. There we go. Okay. Dungeon Pets. Yep. Okay. So the next one is Tekinu. So the time of set, which it's not in the box. It's actually in the main box. Yeah. I managed to fill um, in the insert. I don't remember exactly what this is. I knew I wanted it when it first came out, and we got it when it first came out. We just haven't got the game back to the table. Nope. Um... So, yeah, it looks like it's adding a double-sided board, yeah, a double-sided no. expansion board, game board overlays, the obelisk wheel. Oh, it's a new wheel. I'm guessing five new custom dice. Oh. Four, or five custom dice, so. There's new I guess colors. It's new colors, yeah. Oh, they, wow. It looks like green, red, and blue. 40 new cards, 24 blood tokens. Hmm. That sounds ominous. Conquest tiles, four priests, five, four soldiers, one vizier, and two solo mode action tiles. So, now I want to play this game because it was in my top 100. Another game, we have played a copy of it, but we have not played this copy of it. Yep, we played this at Dice Tower Retreat. Just last year, wasn't it? Yeah, just this past year. And we year. got this... I don't remember where we Was bought it. Was this a garage sale one too? I don't think so. Okay, maybe we actually found it on the yeah, road. Yeah, I don't remember. Yukon Airways. This we is. We've a road trip since we've played this. Is, this so, this is so bit, This one was a little. This one is. It's all, interesting. It's, yes, you are. Your player board is the dashboard of your, your prop plane. Cessna plane. Yeah, or, basically or your small. Sea plane. Yeah. So and you are building out routes amongst the Yukon area the yukon region in canada and alaska mm -hmm. um so you're you're building out plane routes and just basically trying to deliver people and whatnot throughout but mm -hmm. you're as you move on you upgrade your plane you can upgrade the abilities on your plane using your dashboard it was really interesting i really enjoyed it and i'm i'm looking forward to getting it back to the table but Yukon Next one we got is City Baba. I know nothing about this I game. Know. Why? Do, I don't even know why we have this I don't game. even remember how we got this I game. Don't I don't know if it was in one of those uh, uh, mystery boxes it from Gen Con. Been. I think might have been where it came the from. The colors are gorgeous. The artwork yeah. is beautiful. May even gotten it at an early Saltier's garage I sale, possibly. Know. 
you would have to look on your file in your files because she marks down where we get everything. I well, but it's I, start, unpunched. I started it. I think and it was a game this. we thought about picking it up, and then it we realized it's a three plus time. player game. Yeah, it's a three plus, so it has never come off the table. Yes, yeah, three to seven players, thirty five to forty five minutes. So it looks interesting. So I know our son has the game as well. So it's an S, so it's going to get played soon. Yeah. We who knows we might like it. Yeah, I'm hoping. Mm -hmm. Okay, especially if it's taking up shelf space. Next for the is last another garage years. sale pickup for very little. This yeah. is Talisman. Yes, people are going. That game's been around forever. Yes, I know. I've always wanted to play it. Some people like it. Some people don't. Revised fourth edition. Well, and we it have is a different version of it, and we were like, eh, on that version. And then we realized it was this not is a, the same version. Yeah, it was a kid's version. This is so, a semi-co-op game where you all have one goal of fighting the big bad guy at the end, though. But during the game, while you're trying to get what you need to go in there and fight him, you're backstabbing each other. You're taking things from stuff. You're attacking each other. And it, it sounded interesting at the time. I still want to say, hey, I've played it because it's a classic. Yeah. So it's a T. We'll get it played. Okay. When we get to these, we'll see. Talisman. All right. Another game. This was through a Facebook. Yeah, this pickup. is just recently. We've this just was a got very this. recent game that we picked up. This is yeah. from one of our friends from the Board Game Indie Facebook page. Yeah. I don't know. I'm looking forward to it. I, this has always been one that never really interested me because I think of the scope of it. Mm hmm. But you've this always has, been interested This in it. has so a lot of see. history in it. I've really enjoyed the history games I've had. But you're making a civilization, and it's a lot of card play. I know it's a lots very long and game. Lots of card play. It is a 120 it plus minutes. hour. It's not 120, 120 plus, plus hours. hours. So I'm out. It is rivaling that war game. So it's a, a two hour plus game. And I've always been intrigued. But I know there's an app out there on the phone that you could play it on an app. I'm not big on board games on apps. I really like the tactile of filling the game. Yeah. And playing it. So, yep, through the ages. All right. I'm running out of room. Next, we put back on the list because we played the tutorial of this. We did. But it's been a while since we I don't actually even played the tutorial. Why we yeah, I, up to play the and show. I don't even remember the I tutorial don't remember now. It. So. So it's back on. Well, our we list. we pulled it out because we wanted to start playing it. Oh, and then we got and one. we okay. got off on other things, and we never got it back to the table. So it went back on our unplayed list because yeah. we don't even remember what the tutorial was. We have to replay it. We I really liked season one. You I liked, liked season both one and two. I wasn't the biggest fan of no. season two, but this one is begin before all of it. So and this you one see the people beginnings say of everything. is the best. Yep. So so we'll see. Hopefully, we get it to the table soon because yeah. the peas are gone. No, they're not. We're only in the M's. Okay, so the P's are not gone. They were only in the M's. Because I don't know my alphabet. Okay, here's another Facebook <laughs> pickup that we got from the same guy we got through the yeah. ages. This, this is railroad, really Railway Road. Why is this so heavy? Railways of the World. Oh this is an, a railroad... Rail, I can't talk. This is a railroad game, and it's I believe it's a route builder... I believe Why I, I so don't know heavy? a lot about the games. I've always heard oh, people talk about it and really liked it. Multiple boards in it. It, ha it has an expansion got... in it as well. It has the Portugal map, which is ne he's never played. The guy who sold it to me said he bought it for the Portugal map and never got its table. So, Koi, when if we, we play, when we get to it, we'll get out the Portugal map too. We'll let you know and we'll if you're you'll watching have to come over and, and play. We'll get you to come over so you can actually play your game with the Portugal map. There you go. Yeah. Okay. I'm Next. pretty sure that's. We have nothing personal. This is a Tom Vassell game. We bought it well before we started doing our mm -hmm. own content. And we thought it was cool that it was Tom Vassell's yeah, game because we, we started a really loud to Dice Tower. Yep. This can be a very mean game, but is that's what, what I'm understanding. It can be a very mean game. I know it's a three Matt plus doesn't player. said it's a very mean Jeff game. Said Jeff said it's very Matt. Jeff. Yes, Jeff. Um, we're going to take this with us to when we go out to visit Jeff next month. So Virginia. we can say we've played our copy. He's actually played it. He has played it. He agreed to play it with us again. <laughs> so we'll see what happens. And it might be the last game we play. One of the last games we, we play home. so that we can get away yes. from each other until the retreat. Yeah. So 
I, I don't know. I guess we'll see. But yeah, it's, it's one it's of those games up. you got to go into it. It kind of like family business. I think so. You got to go into go it because you right know you're going to lose stuff. Yeah. Okay. We'll see. But anyway, yep. Next, Next is a game we picked up used. Yes. Shortly after I we came back, I don't remember where you, uh, you got this off of a Facebook. Yeah, it was a Facebook, uh, Facebook trade. I don't remember who with now, but yeah, it was but somebody off this, of the indie group. We played this at the retreat. Mm -hmm. Yes. With some of the guys from the indie. We did. Board yeah. gaming indie group. Yeah. Really. I, and it's one that both of us has been kind of intrigued about, yes. but n didn't know the other person was intrigued about it. I was always intrigued because of the artwork. Mm -hmm. I was always like going. I'm interested in it, but am I interested? Because seeing this saying title blades, the first thing that came to mind was Beyblades Blade, Blade that Blades. the kids had when they were younger. Yeah, and that I didn't want. But this no. is it's it's multiple boards, and you're it's a worker placement, mm -hmm. worker movement type of thing. And mm -hmm. I don't know, it was just a it lot was a lot of fun. fun. And the person who taught it, I wish I could remember his name. Was it's that in his my name? book? Yeah, it's in my was book. Was his name Greg? I don't remember. Anyway. If if you're watching and you know who you are, you know who you I are. I don't remember it. Don't anyway, remember though, but he did a really right good teach about it, and they yeah. were they were trying to re Learn relearn it because they liked the game. But yeah, it was a good teach. It was a good teach. It was a great game. Enough I, that we, we went out lost. and got picked up the game. We did, we did. So yeah, but yet have yet to play our own copy. Yep. All right. So next, this poor table's going to. We have an expansion that's inside the box. Yes. Of Pipeline. I think it's the only expansion you have. I really yes. like the game Pipeline. Yes, this is Emergent Emerging, market. Emerging Markets. Yep. I'm not sure what it adds. We will find out Again, in the, the peas, peas because coming. the peas are not gone, apparently. <laughs> but yeah, so this is Pipeline, a game that I really liked. Uh, I don't think I've won, though. Oh, I... I, I don't know. Maybe, whatever. maybe so, but... Anyway, we'll get to it, it soon, hopefully. Cool. Next, we have Space Base. This has an expansion. We've played the base game. We haven't played the expansion. The expansion is Shy Pluto. Yes. Which is yeah, we bought this one. Okay, so we played Bad Company mm -hmm. at, at the Dice Terror West. Dice Terror West. And really enjoyed it. And everybody compared it to Space Base and thought, mm -hmm. okay, well, Space Base is one of those classic games, I feel like. We need to play it. Mm -hmm. We found it for really cheap, like a couple of states later, after mm -hmm. we made this decision. So... Okay, fine. And then a couple states after that, we played we, it we, before we, we got home. We played it at the hotel yep. and really enjoyed it. Mm -hmm. So, and then like the next day in one of the another state, another state, we saw the expansion. So we went ahead and picked it up. One Why of not? the expansions. Yes. There are multiple expansions. Yeah, have, but yeah. So we picked up Shy Pluto. Sense. We have not played Shy Pluto yet. Nope. We've only That's played the game one. once. Oh, there it is. So. The S's are coming. Mm -hmm. I feel like this is As a we theme. Keep saying. <laughs> so this one is also an expansion that we still got to oh get. This gosh. is the base game. The expansion's inside. This is automobiles. We had a blast with automobiles. So let me okay. tell you the story about automobiles. <laughs> we were at a store in what is that? It was the city, was the state Kansas where city? one of your friends from work lived now. I believe. No, this was like was in it? Kansas City or something was like that. It, really? it was it was along the 70 corridor. Was it? I'm pretty sure. Regardless. Oh no, we, yeah, we've been, been there twice. Yes. So maybe it was It was I want to say it was in Kansas City area. But anyway, maybe. that's anyway, the does, point. Doesn't matter. But we seen it. We yes. We seen the expansion. Did not realize it was the expansion and bought it. We and were it, so excited because we, we had trains and planes, and we, planes and we needed we automobiles, automobiles to finish it off. So we had trains, planes, and automobiles. But because uh, our nephew made a made a joke about, about it, it. Yeah. he's like, "Oh, they need a game called the Automobiles." And I was like, "Well, they actually they do." But it's so hard to find. Yeah. So so she grabbed it and we bought it. And on the way out to the parking lot, I was like, "Go I'm ahead." I'm looking at the receipt. This Don't is, ask me why. I yeah. never looked at the receipts. I usually just shove them in my wallet and forget about them. Mm -hmm. For some reason, I looked at the receipt on this one, and it said, and it said "Automobiles EXP." And she's EXP. like, "This is an Wait expansion." Wait a minute. So we pulled it out of the bag, and sure enough, it's an expansion. I'm like, so we went on Marketplace on yeah. on uh, BGG. 
I think so. And found it and ordered it and. Well, we could have gone back in and gotten a refund. Yeah. I just didn't. But it was I a game we really wanted. I was like, well, you know, we want the game anyway. Why not have the expansion? So and the expansion. We played the base game, but we didn't want to add the expansion in right away. We have yet the to play it again. The expansion is Destination Fun Automobiles. It's a racing season expansion. Well, that'll be fun. So. I just, I really liked this one. I thought yeah, it was this a lot was, of fun for it a was racing a game. Bag builder yeah. card? Yeah, it was a bag builder. Tableau yeah, kind of thing because like you used what you got out of the bag to buy cards and yep, do things on the on cards. the board. But yeah, first time the expansion has preemptively been bought before mm -hmm. it accidentally preemptively whatever has it. Is it that we bought an expansion before we ever bought the game? Mm -hmm. What other game have we bought the expansion on? I don't know. I don't remember now. I thought we had done it before, but anyway. I found an aside. expansion at Goodwill one time. We ended up getting rid of the expansion. We never bought the base game. But oh, other yeah. Than that, that was Cacao. Yeah. So, this one we played last year at the retreat. We did. This uh, is the other one that we bought. We got. We paid full price for this one, got revived for half price. No. This was bought So, this is Siege of Rundar. This is a Reiner Knizia game, correct? So. Yes, it says it right down on the bottom. It's a Reiner Knizia game that doesn't really play like a Reiner Knizia no. game. This can be brutal. This is a cooperative game. Where you are trying to basically steal the gold to, out of this to, castle and get away with it. You're lighting. trying to protect the gold and protect the. No, we're trying to steal it and get out. It's a old castle. We're trying to get out of the castle. That's why we're digging out. But the ogres and everything are, are coming, coming in, in to steal are trying to steal the gold as well. Okay. We're trying to to win. We want to get out with the gold. Okay. Well, re either way, it's an interesting yes. tower defense game. Yeah, we played this with of. Jeff, and Mike Delisio actually taught us the yes. game. Yes, it's one of his favorites. So, it was, it was a lot fun. of fun. We found it, like I said, we found yeah, it. Yeah, it's we said, very yes, interesting. We'll get it. It's very interesting. So, yeah, there's that. I'm. We okay. may play that on the 24th. I was just thinking the same thing. I think that would be fun. Okay. And last but not least, we're going to finally get this played, though, in April. This Next is month. Star Trek Ascendancy. I found this game for 20 bucks at a garage sale yes, for, for the base a, game. And then we proceeded spend to spend like a thousand dollars for all the expansions. Now I got to show the inside of this box. Yes. I'm very proud of it. Um, we I do was have Borg and determined. Did not yeah, fit. Borg does not fit in here. But I found all the expansions except the very last one that just came out, which we are getting mm -hmm. as soon as we go to Virginia. The last couple that came out. Yeah. So. This is what I did to the inside of this box. I'm so proud of how this came out. Look at this. Look at how pretty that is. It's All a lot of plastic. Stuff. It's a lot of, yes. So every faction has two, two cases. One with all their ships, because we, of course, had to go out and buy all the extra ships, because why wouldn't you? Mm -hmm. And one that has all the dice and all the cards and all the other stuff for it. And so, you even went I and even painted to and match yes, the uh, starships? All of the, or, or the, spa the bases. The space bases, that's the right. The space stations. You painted I them. I found paint that matches their other ships. Except for the glossy. Well, whatever. Because these all came painted. These were painted by the no, color. Well, those aren't they, painted. That's well, you know just I mean. the color of the plastic. Okay, they came colored. And then these came out as base gray. And that didn't work for me. So I wanted to color them the color of their mm -hmm. thing. So anyway, okay, so I really enjoyed the way it came out. Awesome. I'm looking forward to, to getting a playthrough of this. Get a playthrough of this. So yeah. just going to teach us how to play. Yep. He has the game as well, and he has yep. all the expansions as well, though. Yep. But we want to take our copy so we can actually say we've played our copy now. At least now. part of our copy. So that this blue sticker can actually come off and not just have a C put on it. Yeah. But that is everything that we have not played. Expansions, copies, not played at all. Uh, what we wanted to know is, what do we need to play? What What's your favorite game in this And what is section? not even worth it? Yeah, what if, if you don't like it, go yeah, just get rid of it. Before we even bother spending the time on it. So, let us know in the yeah. comments. Please. Until then, we'll see you at the next one.